Hi guys, this is Tacoma Comics, and this is my entry to John's Comics with Kids 800 subscriber contest. Yes, 800 subscriber contest, because I am optimistic. Even though right now he's at 761, I know that this really awesome guy will reach 800 by the time this contest is over at the end of the month. If you haven't done your entry, I suggest you give it a shot. Uh, I gotta tell you something about John. I'm actually really jealous of him. I have two kids who are the same age as Charlie and Kate, and when I saw John's program, John's Comics with Kids Saturday Morning Comics, I was blown away by the idea, the simplicity of it, the beauty of it, the keeping the family together. Um, so yeah, I'm really jealous. My hat's off to you, John. You've got a great channel and a great family, and you do great stuff. All right, so for his contest, he wanted us to choose seven people and give a gift to each of them of a pop culture item. And in order to do this, we're going to have to take a little trip through my magical neighborhood. And the first part of this trip is gonna start with my house, right here. And it's kind of boring. So we're gonna leave my house. And we're gonna go down the road. There's another boring house. But then we turn and we see something. The magical neighborhood finds yet another house right over here. What is it? It is the X-Men Mansion, Xavier School for Gifted Youngsters. What a great place to be. And this school is actually my gift to Lady Fantastic. Lady Fantastic is a new YouTuber, relatively new, new to me at least, who just has come on and blown me away because she is from the same era, or at least loves the same era comics as I love, back to those 80s Marvel X-Men fanatic, um, which is why she gets the X-Men mansion. Really great to listen to her. It's very genuine, uh, really uh, interestingly spoken. God, that sounded stupid, but I don't feel like going back and editing this whole thing. Really well-spoken, interesting to listen to. Uh, fantastic lady who just is doing a great job. Please go sub up if you haven't already. Now, what's interesting is in this mansion where the X-Men live, you know there's a pool where the X-Men go, and they've been have little splash battles, and they're not supposed to use their powers outside the danger room. But you know that they get up to no good, which is why in this pool there is a present for Pope Grimey. That's right, Pope, another gentleman who keeps it real. This guy really knows how to just be himself, talk about the comics he loves, and show everybody a good time. And one of the things that he loves is sharks. So in the pool, there is not Jaws. There is not even Jabberjaw. What I have gotten for Pope Grimey is Sharknado. That's right, not a shark, not a tornado, but a tornado made of sharks, a sharknado, vicious and violent and dangerous enough that it could absolutely destroy the Riverdale gang. You with me so far? Good, because we need to move down the road a little bit. Mm. Leaving Xavier's mansion behind, we're going to groove on down the street, find <gasps> the Amityville Horror House. Who could this be given to? I know. We're going to give this one to JoJo at Pop.Comics because she is a horror fan. I will tell you, JoJo and I have been going back and forth for a couple of years now with some AOKs. I've won a contest from her. She's won a contest from me. Uh, the contest she won from me actually was like um, when I just started out, I did like a 25 subscriber <laughs> contest or something and and she won and she was like oh great i won and i sent her a bunch of comics so uh always appreciate jojo's shows always appreciate her excellent editing skills which are clearly better than my editing skills uh she does it for a living just a great youtuber out there and you really need to go sub her up and check out her channel uh the house by the way comes with this great backyard where you can uh, dry off the laundry and because this is my magical neighborhood there's also a camp located on the property, Camp Crystal Lake. If you don't know what that reference is, go look it up. All right, looks like we're ready to move on now. What else could we be finding? Now we're leaving the Amityville Horror House that JoJo owns. Who's going to get the next house? What is it going to be? Let's see as we start our trip. Further down, further down. Mm. Ooh, what's this? Hogwarts! 
or at least Stadium High School in Tacoma, which a lot of people say looks like Hogwarts. So what is going to happen at Hogwarts here? Well, let's go inside and check it out. Oh, there's Discovery Bay, JB from Discovery Bay Comics. Now look at this page. Do you see what's going on? Do you see that his eyes are closed? This man is probably asleep half the time because he is the hardest working man in the YouTube comic book community show business business. He does more for our community than any other individual and he deserves the praise. He also deserves a little help, which is why I am giving him the time turner. First was given by Mrs. McGonagall to Hermione so she could, you know, take a little extra classes and stuff. But I kind of feel that's what JB is doing. He's doing a little extra schoolwork, you know. His, his work just happens to be YouTube videos. And I think it's very important that we understand what the Time Turner can do. Mysterious thing, Time. Powerful. And when meddled with, dangerous. Sirius Black is in the topmost cell of the Dark Tower. You know the laws, Miss Granger. You must not be seen. And you would do well, I feel, to return before this last chime. If not, the consequences are too ghastly to discuss. If you succeed tonight, more than one innocent life may be spared. Three turns should do it anyway. All right, JB. Oops, you've been warned. Three turns. Otherwise, disaster could occur. So who's next in this uh, wonderful school for wizards? It's Perry Comics. Perry Comics has been lurking a lot. If you haven't checked him out recently, he started this new thing where he just goes on every night and lets other people watch other YouTubers with him, brings subscribers to those YouTubers, brings listeners, brings watchers, brings comments, adds comments himself. I've had two videos go down this week where I've gotten extra viewers just because Perry has been lurking and watching me. All right, let me give you a little example here of what Perry does. And look in the bottom right corner where you see me type in the content. Uh, the uh, comments. Uh, I'll check out. Oh, look, there was Hydra comments. A little kick ass. <laughs> I can't, man. I'm recording you recording other people. Let's make black jam for my contest entry into ASMR. John's Comics oh with boy. Kids. Hey, let's make black jam. So first, we're gonna get the jam. <laughs> How meta is that? Pretty meta. And I just want to show you another side of Perry here. Go. So this man, this crazy man who's lurking and dancing and singing and talking a mile a minute is just the best. But so he can truly, truly lurk everywhere. What I have for him is one of the specialty of Hogwarts, and that would be the Pensieve. Wouldn't you know it's buffering in the middle of my video? <laughs> well, enough of that. Our next friend, who also happens to be in the Hogwarts Mansion, it's poor man's comics. Truly, truly deserving of an award. When I saw his Hughes video, where he did every Hughes comic he owns, that's what inspired me to do my own Hans videos. Uh, this guy, I know who he loves more than I know what he loves. And I went through a couple of videos of him to try to figure out what I could give him while still remaining in Hogwarts so I don't bore you all with more street videos. And I thought, you know what? Every time you see one of his videos, Ah, ah, Krusty the Clown is there. The uh, rude talking, swearing, 
smoking, drinking. Krusty the Clown is there. So I figure, what better prize to give a poor man's comics than two tickets to Krusty Land? Which, as you all know, if you go up the right staircase in Hogwarts, you will end up at Krusty Land. That is exactly right, where you will overpay for everything and the rides will be broken and dangerous, but it will well be worth it. So, what's next to Krusty Land? Since we're now using our imaginations, we're in a magical neighborhood, we're inside Hogwarts and we need another large space, we'll let Charlie tell you what's next. I like how they're always trying to sneak away from their cabin, their cabin, their counselor or something. Uh huh. Jen, Jen, and she's like, she's like at one point, oh look at these beautiful flowers, and they walk away. And like, There's the tower by the lake. So they have to go to it. They have to go to it. And then um, when they do that, she's like planning something, girls. Cause I'm keeping my eyes on you this time. And then eventually she's like, oh, whoa. <laughs> leave. She doesn't even notice. Are you kidding? Keep playing. And then they come back because they see like, these armadillos or something. I don't know what they're called. Okay. And they, the heater goes, blah, blah, blah. and they, ah! so they run and then they tumble her and they fall into a pile of leaves. And he said, and, the, and then um, the one in the red hair, April says, well, at least we landed in a big clump of, and Jen says, poison ivy. <laughs> Oh, those Lumberjanes girls. They actually go to Miss Quinzella Thisquin, Pennyqueak will thistle crump its camp for hardcore lady types. And Charlie, you are a hardcore lady type, and you would fit right in with the Lumberjanes, getting up to all sorts of hijinks, sneaking away from Jen with your best friends, Mal, Molly, April, Ripley, and Joe. So I hope that you enjoy this gift I've given to you. Which brings us towards the end just a few more left let's see what we do after we leave hogwarts with its camp and crusty land and pensieves and time turners we're going to go down this street and this is actually long as we start to run into a car it was very very strange turn the corner of course and all of a sudden we're about to hit a car just want to tell you john even though i've screwed up three times and had to re-edit and delete some stuff i had a blast making this and to all my friends out there that I interact with, I could not get you all in. I think I've already done eight or nine. Um, I just, it would go on forever. But finally, we come to this little island here. And if you use your magical imaginations, you know that this island is the island where Lost takes place. And that is what I gift to John. The entire island with the cast of Lost so he can lose himself and him enjoy himself and when he looks out into the water he won't see a soccer ball he won't see a baseball but for his other daughter Kate he might see a volleyball and more specifically Kate for you because I know you were such a boss volleyball player I give you Wilson Wilson where are you? Wilson! There you go. And we're done. Or are we? Because, ladies and gentlemen, you know that something exists up north beyond the wall. And for my man, Bear Island Comics, who brings it every single time with his videos, I give to you the north. But not just the north. I give you to the north, run by the lady who should be in charge of the north, Miss Arya Stark. John, congratulations on 800 subscribers. I hope I didn't bore anybody too much with my silly little video here. And uh, congratulations once more, my friend. Well earned.